brother. Yes. Suppose you were mortal. Ah. And suppose you knew you were going to die. <laughs> Would you rather destroy your own life and take the fight to them? <laughs> Or would you rather hold on to your life as long as you could and wait for death to come take it away from you? <laughs> Is that what it's like to be mortal? They should be glad we've killed them. Courtney should have been here for this. Who? Courtney fucking Miller. She loved to raid Armid Alson. Bases. Met realms. <clears throat> that spirit of annoy? Watch yourself, buddy. Courtney fucking Miller is a goddess. <clears throat> I punched a hole in Courtney fucking Miller once. You son of a bitch. And I could have sworn that she or it was filled with, um, was it lead or granite? You have, you, I will f you tonight. That is my wife you are talking about. Your wife is a number two pencil, I'm letting you know. That's it. All right, all right. She's an artsy pencil. You want this? You want this? Just pick up this meat. Pick up your meat. Pick up your meat. Maybe I'll take... Ah! Son of a bitch! You shot my hand! That's right. Heads up, Demos. I'll kill them. Aries, later on, later on. We're going to have a long, arduous, and comprehensive dialogue about why, about what you should have done in that situation. Ugh, it's garbage. Where on earth is the thing? Demos, did you just hit me with a gun? Shoot me? M Mom? 
Uh, Demos, that, that wasn't cool. Uh, I didn't know it was you. Yes, he did. I didn't shoot you. Yes, he did. Then I didn't... No, it was... Yes, he did. Shut up, Phobos! In either case... <clears throat> Father, why are you dressed like that? <clears throat> we, uh, your mother did it, uh, in the Silton. <sighs> your father and I attended that Cherulia Talk Festival on the planet Ilulu. Oh. Then what brings you back here so quickly? Galactus landed on the planet, and we all had to go. Which brings me to why we're here. After we left the planet Ilulu, which, mind you, is still very much there, we took a stop by the Earth, thinking that we would... By the... Uh, oh, dear goodness... We took a stop by Terra Nubal, thinking that we would take part in the Dionysian Saturnalian all. But when we went by there, we found that it was gone. And when it comes to massive acts of destruction, missing planets, missing living beings, I assumed, naturally, that you would have had something to do with it. Cough it up. Where is Terra Nubal? We destroyed it. You did what? Why did you do that? Uh, father ordered us to. Ares! Well, Father ordered me to. Father ordered you to destroy Terra Nubal? Yes. But I didn't mean do it now. I wanted... I wanted... I wanted... Phobos, I want Phobos. Demos. Yes, Father... I want you to return Terra Nubal to its previous state. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. You should have thought of that before you destroy a planet without inviting me. And we're going to do this right as a family. Yes, Father. Oh. Ares. Yes. Never mind. Phobos, Demos, how could you do that? What of, all, what of all the love that existed on that planet? <laughs> what love? There was no love on that planet. It was all false. Fakery. They don't have such inner beauty as you suggest that they do. Their roots are short, and their, li their lights burn dim. That's why they die. That's why they're called mortals. They hide who they are. They pretend to be capable of love. They hide who they are with lies as they hide their festering, deteriorating carapaces with shreds of fabric they find across the terra firma. They are ashamed of who they are. They betray each other. They destroy each other. They are an uncomfortable... They are an untrustworthy race. Which is why our... My grandfather, your father... Which is why Zeus... Likely why Zeus ordered the gave the extinction order in the first place. Desiccating piles of filth. Nothing in this reality of theirs, this 1.25 GEV universe, has any kind of a exit strategy. Whatever is there, the they lack any facilities or structures required to not make mistakes or repair mistakes. Whatever is there must be built upon, and that is the end of it. These humans believe having... Not having any... Not being able to stop is strength. Not having choice is strength. See how that's so? <sighs> These creatures, they scrounge about the terra firma looking for more effluence to pile on top of themselves, which in order to make viable structures and prolong their already miserable, feeble, insipid existences must use the previ exist previously existing vital structures that still exist, despite the deterioration. Uh, due to the deterioration, it spreads, so they have to build bigger and bigger structures to make use of the previously existing 
viable structures. And this repeats and continues until either the desiccation or the de deterioration grows too great, or the, the matter piles too high and it falls right the fuck over. The closest thing to any semblance of meaning that these mortals know is how exactly of what material should I place the next layer on this pile of garbage so that it doesn't, it creates the least number of problems later on for laying down as many layers as fast as possible so I can be the biggest, most robust piece of filth in the universe. Well said, brother. Phobos, Demos... I'm very disappointed in your behavior, and I'm leaving. Oh, you don't want to stay and have some of the meat? Goodbye, Ares. <clears throat> that reminds me of how I met your mother.